Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the Power Eleven in Chapter Five. This one is a little bit confusing, and then let's work on it together. First, when they tell us there is a box, and the box is given a push, so that it just slides across the floor. And then you can see we give the box a push, so then there is no force act on this. Box by the person do do great. We just give it a push. So this uh, box gives the initial velocity, and then we know the final velocity is zero because you need need to just uh, stop and then to find uh, how far it it will it go the displacement, and then you also know the kinetic friction in this case. So in this one. We need to know acceleration to agree to find the displacement because we know initial velocity, final velocity, and then to figure out the acceleration, we need to do the force analysis. So in this box, we have the gravity, normal force, and the friction. So let's write is the Newton's second law in y component. So we have f minus the gravity equals zero, and then look at the horizontal uh, component. We have the because this one is the uh, Pointing negative x, so negative fraction equals mass times acceleration, and then this fraction equals the coefficient mu k times the normal force. When we solve these three equations, we can get the acceleration equal to negative mu k g. So there, you can see you know the mu and you know the g, so it's easy for you to get acceleration. After you know the acceleration, you input in this part, and then you you can find the displacement easily. See. As this one, first you get the acceleration, and then you input in our favorite equation, get the displacement. Thank you.